Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Funke Says. I'm excited about the topic we have today. So I'm excited actually. <laughs> and the topic today is, how do you make your wedding reflect your personality? Now you may ask yourself, why do I need my wedding to reflect my personality in the first place? The reason why you need your wedding to reflect your personality is because you need to make your wedding your own. You need to reflect your style in your wedding. You need to look back at pictures, look back at the video, look back at the memories. And when you're thinking about the memories and say, I got the wedding that I wanted because it was my wedding. It reflected my style, it reflected what I like, it reflected me, 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 me. And when I'm talking about me, I'm talking about the bride and the groom. I'm not just talking about the bride now. You can start by asking yourself the following questions. What kind of person am I? Do I love adventure? Do I love to travel? Do I like having fun? Am I a creative person? Do I love entertainment? Am I the kind of bride that wants to be daring? You want to be unconventional? You don't want to follow the norm? Or are you a traditional bride? Or are you a romantic bride? Or are you a bride that just, just loves fashion? You love fashion, you love the high fashion. You love fashion in any way. Now that you've answered this question and you've gotten the answers to this question, it will help you determine the kind of wedding you want and the kind of wedding you should have. For example, you love to travel. You love to travel, you love to see places, you love exotic locations. One of the ways that you can bring back this style for your wedding is by reflecting it in the, in the, on, the, on the table. You can have little place cards, little table settings that have lovely mementos from where you've been. You can actually have even the guests write lovely destinations that they think that you should go on your honeymoon. It could even be a competition. <laughs> People could win. Yes, yes, they could. So you could have that. You could actually, even for your invitation cards, you can have them, you can send out lovely invitation cards that are like postcards from places you've been to. The bride or the groom, you love to travel. That's one way to make a wedding your own. Now you love fashion. You love fashion, be it high fashion, what type, whatever kind of fashion, you love fashion. You could actually have this be reflected with your bridal train. In the style of clothes they wear, in the color of what they wear, in their shoes, their accessories. You could have all the groom's men wear the same type of shoes and the same type of socks. You can actually have the girls, the bridesmaids, wear a certain type of color. Or could it be the style of what they wear? You can reflect high fashion in your thing. Now, how do you also reflect fashion in your personality for your wedding? The red carpet can be a paparazzi filled red carpet with photos and videographers just taking pictures and asking people what they're wearing. So you can have an E on the red carpet. I love it. I'm excited already. And then you could also even have a fashion runway. Yes, you could have a fashion runway. Don't think you can't. There's nothing that's impossible. You can have it. Instead of having the regular aisle, you know, and then your bridesmaids and all the groomsmen are all high fashion on the, run on, the on the runway. It's going to be exciting. I love it already. Now, are you a romantic bride? Do you love romance? Are you the kind of bride that just wants everybody to feel love, to see love, to experience love? I'm already falling in love. I feel like getting married all over again. <laughs> You're a romantic bride. You're the kind of bride that just wants the music to reflect love. From the beginning to the end. From the church to the reception. Or from the, from the civil ceremony venue to the reception. Or even from the Nikai venue to the reception. You want people to experience love. You are the kind of bride or the kind of groom that will write your marriage vows. Yes, you will write your marriage vows. You don't want to go with the normal, traditional vows. You want to write your vows because you want to ask everybody to feel the love you feel. You practically even want us to cry on that day, full of love, full of magic. I'm already excited about the romantic bride. Are you a bride that just loves adventure? You love to be daring. You love to be uncon. You love to be different. You don't want to do the things that everybody else does. So what do you do? You're the kind of bride that gets married on a plane. Yes, it's been done. You get married on a plane or you get married on a yacht. Or you go to a ranch to get married. So you get married in the outdoors, it's different. 
oh, you are the kind of bride that will probably wear red or pink as your wedding dress. And then the groom will probably wear yellow. You are dairy. That's adventure. Oh, you are the kind of bride that won't even allow all your bridesmaids or the bridal train will probably wear a color that's never been worn before. You love to be different. You don't want everybody to think that you, you're confirming. You want to be daring. You want people to come and say, that was definitely her because you know what? She's a daring person. You are adventurous and you're daring. Oh, are you the kind of bride that just would go with the traditions? You know, you've always been a stickler for tradition. You've always dreamt that whenever I'm getting married, I'm just going to go with the tradition. So what does that mean? You are the bride that when you're going for your civil ceremony or even in church, you walk into the bridal match. You're not the kind of bride that's going to do something so different. You're going to go walk into the bridal match. Here comes the bride. Oh, clad in white, you're probably going to wear one. You're probably going to have a ball gown. You're not, just go you're not going to be daring. You're going to just keep it traditional. You've always loved the something new, the something borrowed, something old, and something blue. You keep to the traditions. You're not going to change that. You're going to get the something blue. You're going to get the something old. You're going to get the something new. You're going to get the something borrowed. Because you are that kind of bride. You believe in traditions. Your cake is probably going to be a three-tier cake that is stamped in tradition. The flavors of your cake are going to be the regular fruit cake. You're going to keep with the tradition of giving the in-laws one layer of the cake, of giving your parents one layer of the cake, and keeping the last layer for your baby christening in the freezer. You love tradition. So that is, those are the different ways that you can actually reflect your personality in your wedding. You can have the wedding of your dreams. You can have the wedding that you want. You can have the wedding that is your style. The most important thing is that you have the wedding that reflects you. You have the wedding that reflects you. It's not about the next person. It's about what you want. It's about what reflects your personality. It's about what makes you happy. So I hope that today I've been able to guide you a little bit, help you, steer you in the right direction for you to be able to have the wedding of your dreams or for you to be able to reflect your personality in your wedding. Thank you for watching another episode of Funke Says. Don't forget to join me next time and you can get in touch with me or ask me questions. Please, I really want you to ask me questions at Funke Says at FunkeBucknot.com or askfunke at funkesays.com. Thank you for watching.